Hi, Spooky Girl here with Super Goober and another DIY craft project from Moshi Monsters. And today we're making a Mr. Snoodle pinata. Moshi Monsters! Start by blowing up your balloon. Wow, Super Goober, that was fast. Here you are. Pour two cups of flour into your bowl. Then add one cup of water and whisk it. If your mix looks a little thick, add a little more water until your consistency matches ours. Looks kind of like pancakes. Next, rip your newspaper into one inch strips. Ta-da! This is where it gets messy. So make sure you have on plate clothes and put a tablecloth or a table cover on your table. Next, take your piece of paper, dip it in the mache, and remove any excess with your fingers. With another strip of mache, Place it right next to the last one. You'll want to keep doing this until your balloon has been covered. You'll have to rotate it to get to the bottom of the balloon. Once you've laid the last piece of paper mache, make sure everything is smooth. You can do up to three layers at once, but you'll have to wait overnight for the paper mache to dry. All night? Yep. Mr. Snoodle's nose and tail, and as you can see, they're at the bottom of his body. We'll be using a tissue roll for his nose, but I'll need scissors and masking tape to attach it. Ask a grown-up for help with cutting the scissors. Cut a small circle just around the edge of your tissue roll. This will give you a nice matching angle onto your balloon to make Mr. Snoodle's nose stick upward. Next, use your masking tape to tape it to the balloon. Since we'll be covering our paper mache balloon with some paper later, it doesn't matter if your tape is showing or it takes a lot of tape to hold Mr. Snoodle's nose together. Make sure the end of the nose is covered with tape because Mr. Snoodle's nose is like a pig's snout. And now for his tail. You're going to need three pieces of shredded paper and some tape. Take the paper and twist it and leave three little pieces at the end. Next, you're going to fold the tail and attach it with tape. Once you've finished taping the tail, you should take the tape away from Zuber Goober. And now it's time to make the ears. Fold your newspaper into a triangle and then into a smaller triangle and cut it. Cut that in half. And now we have two snoodle ears. Next you'll need to fold the ears in half and tape the edges. After you've finished folding and taping, it's time to paint. Mr. Snoodle's body, his nose, and the base of his tail are yellow, and so are his feet. We'll be using paper cups to make those, so you'll need to paint all of these items yellow. The bottom of his tail and his ears are green. You can paint them, but do not attach them. We're using two different shades of yellow tissue paper to make the outside of the piñata. We cut them into three inch strips and then we're cutting a fringe about every inch across the paper. Now that we've cut our strips, it's time to start papering Mr. Snoodle. Start by turning him upside down and then cut a small patch off one strip and glue it to the base. Next glue the alternate color around in a circle with the fringe side up. It's okay to fold over each edge. Just get your circular shape and then keep going with the next color in the alternating pattern and attach it fringe side up, overlapping. You'll do this all the way around Mr. Snoodle's body. And now it's time to cut the balloon. Now we're filling the pinata with stickers, Moshi mashup cards, Moshi bands, and sweets. Now that Mr. Snoodle's ears are dry, we cut out his eyes, mouth, and cheeks from newspaper and painted them to match. Next we're going to attach them with glue. 
cut two holes for the string, one on the front and one on the side of your original hole. They should just be little slits. Take your ribbon and thread it through both slits. And this will be how you hang your pinata. After you paper the top of his head, you can add spots and other details to Mr. Snoodle. And then it's time to add the feet. Lift him up and using double-sided tape, attach your cups. Ta-da! Your very own Mr. Snoodle pinata. And you know what that means. It's time to break it open.